Yo, what's happening? My bathtub's full of mayonnaise. We're playing some more chimps for you guys. We want to decide, is it possible to beat chimps with only super monkeys? What? Well, believe it or not, the super monkeys are actually one of the best towers in the game. If you actually get them going up here to the thirds and fourth tiers, man, they are just great towers. But to get them, you've got to get started in here. And that is where things get really tricky. I'll be sure with you guys. I don't know if this is going to be possible, specifically because of our lead popping power issue. The only chance that we have is our mighty, mighty friend here, Sada, to pull this all off. So here's our here's our big conundrum here. Super monkeys are twenty seven hundred dollars, so getting one of them is obviously pretty tricky. So you need to make sure that you have a hero here that can get you started in the game that helps you beat all the way through, all the way into saving up two thousand seven hundred dollars. On beginner, on resort, it was possible, but it requires you to get all the way through round 28 with your uh, uh, abilities in popping the lead balloons. And because the map's so long, it gives you the time to get two of those abilities up. But on other maps, uh, intermediate, it's not quite so easy. We have to figure out how to pop these lead balloons with our ability here and pop all of the other balloons as well. Including round 15, round 20, round 23, all those rounds to get this all started up in here. Then on top of that, we still have to make sure we have enough room to build our super monkeys in reasonable places. And right now, this is just going to be tough. So, we'll save up a little bit of money and we'll meet you guys back in a little bit. Alright, so believe it or not, we actually got our super monkey a little faster than anticipated. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, that was a little closer than I wanted it to be. I thought we weren't going to be able to fit it there for a second, but bam, we jammed it right in that little tight little hole right there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now we've got our super monkey going. But the first time we're able to get lead popping power whatsoever is going to be through a laser blast and plasma blast. That's another five-ish thousand dollars here. And we're going to hope that maybe, maybe we could pull that off before round 37. But the question is, can Sada defeat the lead balloons in round 28 and on round 30? I don't just want to defeat him on one of the rounds. I need to defeat him on both of them. Otherwise, we officially lose, and we have to figure out another way to do this. Or just chalk it up to an impossibility already. All right, good news is Sada does pop the game of balloons. All right, Laser Blast actually coming up pretty quick. All right, all right, all right. Um, that'll help us for popping power, but still not for that lead popping. I know that I'm talking about this lead popping power, man, like it's like a, the, the biggest chaos problem in the entire world, but it really is. It's just a big, big, stupid issue right in our foot, flying in our face today, man. Like a big bumblebee is tried to a string trying to get away, but he's like, nah, you know what? I'll be your pet, bro. I'll be your pet. All right, here we go. Laser blast. There he is. All right, a little bit extra pierce here. I'll take it. I'll take it. Good for 27. Now 28. So there's two ways to do this. We could just jump on this right from the get-go. Pop three of them. Try to get it back a second time. Let's see if this will work. Uh, it looks like we do not get it back, so that does not work. The only other way to do it is to wait until the lead balloons are inside of the circle here. And then jump on top of them, and that does work for 28. But now we gotta watch out and hope that we can get it back for round 30 here in time. Without popping all the balloons too quickly. And it looks like... Alright, we gotta wait till the very last second here. There's a lot more lag time here for these lead balloons. Um... Let's jump. We're gonna pop almost all of them, and we get it! Round 30 has been defeated! Okay, that was actually a big surprise for me. I was not expecting that. I thought we were gonna lose. So knowing that Sada could beat round 30 gives us a real ample opportunity to get this Plasma Blast before 37. That's the next lead balloon. And if we can get that going, we don't have any major issues for a, a little while here. I mean, Candle Balloons are still kind of minor issue for us, but other than that, we're, we're pretty good, man. We're pretty pretty good. All right, Plasma Blast is going to come up here on 35, likely. And that means popping power-wise, we are totally golden, man. This guy can pop Moabs, pop Bloons, pop everything. He's just good. He's a very good tower. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling comfy. So the next thing I want to do is uh, I, I have to decide. Do I want to go for a um, bottom path super monkey here? So camera detection is our ultra vision cross path. And obviously we're going to need more camera detection than just what Sada can give us. Um, she does not last forever, though she does last a pretty good amount of time. In fact, I think she'll actually survive through round... 42 should be okay. I guess that's like my next major issue is I could just buy knockback and buy ultra vision and have that camo popping power. I'll also have camo purple popping power with Sada over here, which is going to be pretty fantastic. Uh, but to be honest with you guys, I don't know if that is the best. I only got room for how many super monkeys? Two? Two in the middle here? Um, 
yeah, two super monkeys. That's it in the middle. I could put more on the outsides, but that's not really a good position for them. They're like possibilities. That's not where I want to put them. So, if I know I'm going Plasma Blast here, what's the best cross path to go with that thing? Um, do I want to go Sun Avatar with Super Range and Epic Range without any camp protection? Maybe. Maybe. That could be a real possibility here. How are we doing against these balloons, man? Plasma Blast. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah. All right. Now, hopefully, I didn't, I didn't screw things up by wasting that, man. That would be terrible. I right, rebuild our next super monkey here because I know that what I want to get is I want to get one of these guys, and I want to go for a super range, epic range Robo Monkey with a uh, uh, knockback and all provision. I know I want one of those, and I know I want him in the middle here. Um, I know it. I know it. I just haven't decided what I want to get for this super monkey. I don't know yet. And look at this little extra care protection. Things are going fantastic, man. Super monkeys are boss. Absolutely. And Sada also boss. So it should be noted that one weird thing about my Chimps Plus series is that uh, now we're playing Chimps on only intermediate maps with only a single type of tower. On beginner mode, all of the uh, uh, four free heroes in the game will reach level 20 on... On beginner maps, no problem. It'll take you to about like 96, 98, something like that, and you'll be level 20. But Sada and a lot of other heroes do not reach level 20 on beginner. They only reach level 16, 17, 18, wherever, uh, uh, whenever it depends on when you buy him, if you start off with them or, or whatnot, and or if you buy any uh, minor levels here and there. But on intermediate, if you guys don't know, they level up quicker. Intermediate levels up quicker, advanced is level, leveling up even quicker, and of course, expert maps are going to level up even quicker for your heroes. So that gives you a slight smidge of an advantage for heroes like Sada that would not have reached level 20 before. I don't know if we're going to reach level 20, but I think we're going to get a lot closer. Maybe level 19, or maybe it's even affordable to buy her in an emergency situation. So we got, we're going to go Rebel Monkey. And the major tower that we want to get here is a Tech Terror. We're not going to go for an anti bloom. Um, in my first Super Monkey uh, Chimps game, I got an anti balloon and Sada, and I made it basically a two-tower Chimps run. And it worked out really well. Um, it was a little troublesome, a little complicated, but it worked. So, do we have Camel Lead Poppin' Power right now? We do not have Camel Lead Poppin' Power, do we? We could get a Technological Terror, or hope that Sada reaches level 10. Um, both of those can pop Camel Lead, so we might not need to buy the knockback here. I'm just trying to decide if the Tech Terror is going to be enough of that cam detection for us. If we combine it with a couple of Super Monkeys up to, uh, uh, maybe Dark Knights or even a Dark Champion over in the corner over here. In addition, we could maybe even get this guy up to a Dark Champion. Maybe. Could be. I don't know if I'm believing in that all that much, but, uh, it's a real possibility for us. Uh, for now, because I'm popping Bloom so easily, I think we're just best off just kind of waiting. Let's wait, decide what we want to do, let's see if we can afford a Tech Terror in time, and then uh, figure out where we want to go for there. So believe it or not, this is one of my favorite monkeys these days. A Tech Terror with Ultra Vision. Uh, if you go Tech Terror with the top path, like, yes, he will be slightly more powerful, but... Um, it's weird, because a Robo Monkey with Plasma Blast is kind of important as far as Pierce goes, to make him really, really good. The regular Robo Monkey doesn't have that much pierce. That means that his attacks just didn't really do, don't do that much damage. The crit shots are going to help quite a bit, but uh, getting the plasmas is important for that poppy power. But then you lose the cam detection. All right, and that's where, like, oh, you know, Robo Monkey cam detection, like, you got to kind of have to decide for yourself on what you think is worth it to go for. But then what gets really interesting is once you get up to a Tech Terror, he's got more pierce. So that kind of weakness of not having the Plasma Blast is not gone, but it's lessened by a lot. And you get the knockback, and you get the camera detection. So, like, going for one of these guys is actually, in my opinion, a really good idea. I like him a lot. Um, we do have a smidge of a purple weakness here, so it is going to have to be all of our purple popping power. Um, is she going to have to be all of our purple popping power forever? I think so. I got her on strong right now, which I'm going to move her back to first. Uh, for the time being, I don't want these purples to kill me by, like, hitting a Moab instead on accident or something like that. Looks like it's going decently well. We do survive round 62. We don't have to deal with purple balloons until, I think, round 78. So, purples will not be a, a major issue for a long time. And we've got the balloon popping power here and the Moab popping power. Super Monkey is definitely doing a great job in combination with the fact that I have not had to use my ability yet. I think it's going to be, like, an every single round thing in the middle of, uh, uh, the 80s. Like, just gotta use it, man. Just gotta use it. Blow it up. 
We take down round 63. 64 still going very, very well. No major issues here. And now we have to decide what we want to do with the rest of our money. So I'm still deciding what I want to do with this guy. There's so many options for us. I'm going to think about it for the next, like, 10 rounds or so. We'll be back on around 75 or so. And uh, we'll have some answers for you guys. All right, I just realized a couple things. This is actually kind of cool. Sauda inflicts extra Oh, crap. I can't see it anymore. <laughs> I gotta go over here now. Sauda inflicts extra damage to any balloon slowed, immobilized, or taking damage over time from other monkeys. Which, uh, balloons slowed is our uh, knockback here. So Sauda is doing extra damage to all the balloons that we are slowing down. And that, in my opinion, is what's going to lean me towards going for the knockback, the Ultra Vision, a Dark Knight, and trying to afford a Dark Champion. $64,800. It's interesting is we don't have any range to move this guy around whatsoever. Once we get a Dark Champion, though, he could be moved around, but I'm not even sure if it's going to help us out. You know, I mean, if I move him over, it's going to be like to go over here to jump to a bad. I'm going to have to jump him back to the middle or something like that. It probably won't even help me out very much. But it does give us a little bit of options, I suppose. Maybe a little bit of help. The bad is pretty slow, but this ability is pretty pretty slow as well. So I'll have to kind of gauge what uh, happens when we get a little closer. Um, as far as popping power goes, we're doing a pretty good job still. Overall, I'm going to move this guy too strong for the time being. Uh, just kind of help pop the balloons. I'm letting Sauda do basically most of the balloon popping power right now. Um, not all up. I'm a little afraid of that. So we're just going to go for that ability. I just don't like 76, man. It doesn't always cause your hues, but when it does, it's just like, whoop, rate of pig balloon sneaks through your defense, and it just sucks major balls. All right. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh... I will say that one nice thing about uh, going for the anti-balloon on Resort was that I felt like I got this ability back uh, a little bit quicker almost because it took a lot of time for the balloons to randomly come towards me. But on this map, I'm like already able to see whatever balloons are coming in through here. We're on 78. How we doing? How we doing? Oh, look at that. That freaking pink balloon was going to sneak through my defense, man. Oh my god, this map's going to suck for us, isn't it? Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. We do have some abilities available to us, so we're just going to go for a quick saw to jump. Boop. Oh, that was a terrible jump. We're going to go for an extra ability here, just to make sure we clean them up, and that is great. All right, so we should get that back before uh, uh, the second set of balloons came in here, but we're also going to be able to have uh, a tech terror available to us as well. I have her on first. Why did she jump over there? I had balloons over in this general area. That was kind of weird. Um, Uh-oh, purple balloons coming in now. 78! Don't cause chaos for me, please, little purple balloons, please. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. We're gonna go TT in a second. And we knock him out. Knock him out. We got $30,000 saved up at this point, but I still want to get that Dark Champion as my main next hour. If we could survive just a couple rounds in the, in the 80s, we should be able to afford him. That'll change the game in our favor a lot, but... I don't know if that's gonna be enough to take us all the way through to round 100. I'm still gonna need more towers, man. Still gonna need more. 79. How are we how are we getting uh, set up over here? Uh oh, I could not tell, but it looked like a pink balloon was sneaking through. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna leave. It's already getting scary over here, folks. Um, I c it might have just been a pink balloon that got knocked back. I'm not entirely sure, but I got I got a little afraid. We're gonna move this guy back to first, and we got a strong first. We're gonna move this guy to close first now. Um, before it was okay to kind of just you know. Pop more Moabs a little bit quicker, makes the game run a little bit quicker and all that stuff. But now, we gotta be safer and smarter with our pops. So let's do that. Um, seems like it's working much, much, much better now. There's not a bunch of balloons sitting in the middle here. Oh yeah, I'm feeling much better about this. Our round 79 is defeated pretty easily. Round 80 shouldn't be too bad. We got the technological terror ability if we need it. I'm gonna try to survive without it. And we're gonna try to save it for all of the 80 rounds that we actually need it. All right, so let's look at our pop counts really quickly. I'm just a little curious. We got 232,000 with this guy. So I was only got 31,000. She's doing nothing right now. And 8,000 with this guy. So yeah, surprisingly, Sada not doing very many pops. And I know that her range is like one of the major limiting factors for us, but uh, it's a little intriguing at the very least. Good news is that Sada is going to be getting stronger and stronger over time, man. Don't underestimate her. Once she gets to level uh, 18, 19, and 20, she gets beefy. Real, real beefy. And, and this... uh. Uh, ability here is fan freaking fantastic. All right, round 81. Let's see how we're going to do. This would be a good gauge for us and how well we're going to do in the free play. Um, I'm going to try to survive it without using any abilities and just see how it goes. Let's just use Sawda's, Sawda's ability. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know I changed my mind there, but that was like a lot of balloons lined up. I was basically talking about the TT. TT ability. Um, Alright. This looks a lot- it looks very scary. You have to pay attention very, like, very intently right here. Because balloons can shoot out any which direction. And it just gets really scary for me to watch, man. It really does. Are right, we popping some balloons, popping some balloons, doing a good job. We're going to use the technological terror ability here. I'm just going to use it a little early. We're going to go whoop, get rid of those things. And we still have a few more balloons to clean up, but now we have much less uh, congestion overall. Still a lot of reinforced balloons, though. Um, luckily, reinforced balloons don't seem that much harder than regular balloons today. At least not yet. A lot of slowdown for us. A lot of sawda popping power. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, we're pretty close to our uh, $64,000 as well. Yeah, pretty close. It's... It's a little bit of an overstatement, about 15,000. 83 is a bunch of regular Moabs, I believe. Yeah, here we go. Regular Moabs. These are a little bit quicker on us. Um, we're going to go for the TT, TT ability. Uh, I'm just a little afraid there. We're going to go for it. A little early on the round, but um, it gives us a little bit of time to like recoup it back. we got to be smart about these abilities, though, because Chimps mode, even though it seems crazy... Let's say we can't beat round 85 for some reason, but on round 84, I used all of my abilities up. We can't just go back to round 84 and unuse those abilities. We're stuck with them. We're stuck with what we used before on the previous round. So sometimes, even if you're going to beat a round, it's better to say, screw it. I'm going to restart and try to use less abilities or use them quicker. Um, and that's where it gets really tricky on chips mode, man. Really, really tricky. So we're going to go for another fairly early ability. Boop. Kill some of them. Try to get it back before around 85, which is going to be a couple of my gods for us. All right, looking pretty good. We just about got the money for that dark champ, too. Looks like after around 85, we should have enough money for it. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Things are going pretty pretty sexy, if I do say so myself. I'm going to try to use no abilities here because these are pretty slow balloons. Um, hopefully, this goes the way I'm anticipating. I'll use, uh, I'll use that ability to start off, and that's about it. Uh, we want to attack this, oh my god, first, though, and it looks like with all these crit shots, Sauda, a lot of balloons, a lot of slowdown, though, and we do take it down, and it looks like the second one should be just as easy. Um, I think it only made it, like, one time around, and it goes, like, three times around, so, uh, we should be good. Should, 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 and we are good, and we're so close to Dark Champ! So close! Our 86 is surprisingly weird, but I'm feeling so confident in myself, I am going to Technological Terror ability this stuff. Boop! Get rid of that. Oh my god, we still can't afford it? I really thought we were going to be able to afford it for 85. Or 87, I mean. Okay, we need another $600. We got fours, oh my god's coming out now. Uh-oh. Uh-ohs. $600, though. We just need to pop ones, oh my god, hopefully. Um, I'm not going to feel bad about using my abilities here at all, though. If we get a little bit of overwhelm. Maybe we can just insta-kill all those, oh my gods, all at once. Ready? Three, two, one. Boop. And we get the Dark Champ up. And that Dark Champ's got a lot of Pierce. He's got a lot of balloon popping power. That is going to help us out a lot. Now the question is, what do we do with the rest of our money? I'm trying to remember where the bad balloon comes out. I think it comes out on this side. But I'm actually not entirely sure. I'm going to go test it out. Uh, I don't know if I can test it out. Dang, I'm a little confused, guys. So let me double check, make sure I can't fit any super monkeys randomly anywhere in this area. I'm pretty confident. Pretty confident that I can't. I mean, like, there's a little spot over here, over here, that you can fit some towers. And over here and here is another spot. But uh, it looks like they do not want you to fit these in here at all. A little too baby. Okay, round 90. We should pay attention. Oh, yeah, Dark Champion, man. Dark Champion! The other thing that we can do is, a lot of people think that Tech Terror is like, you're limited. One Tech Terror. You could actually go for multiple Tech Terrors. You don't even need to go for Cross Paths if you don't want to. So, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to go for a second Technological Terror, and I'm going to put him on the opposite side of where the bad's going to come out, and I'm going to have to uh, be his ability, right? I think I'm going to put him on the opposite side. Be an, uh, a clean upper, basically. Because all I got to do is put him over here or over here. That's all I can do. Though it would be nice to get them... Uh, that little bit of extra damage. But if I'm going to do that, I want to make sure that... Oh, my God. I'm getting confused now. All right. Um, all right. All right. We're going to beat round 92, and I'm going to go test in sandbox mode and see what the heck round this stuff comes out on. Let's hope that I don't screw up my save. Let's hope, for the love of everything that is balloons-related, that Sada can uh, 
make us survive here. Alright, we're gonna jump on these bloods. Um, this is a little beefier. A little bit beefier. We're 92 still taking it down, though. Alright, I'm gonna head on out, and we're gonna check this out. According to sandbox mode, the bag comes out on the right. So that's what I'm gonna plan for. Let's hope it's not a mistake. Alright, round 93 is coming out. DDT is no problem whatsoever. Dark Champion is just straight up beautiful. We're gonna go for a quick Dark Knight here. I don't know if it's worth it to go for Laser Blast and Plasma Blast. I don't really need extra Pierce. I just need Moab Popping Power, right? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go Super Range and Epic Range, because that'll give us that little bit of extra range up in here. And it gives us that little bit of extra Pierce as well. Um, and this is what I really need, because he's kind of in a bad spot, to be honest. You know? Like, kind of. It's not a horrible spot. It's kind of a weird spot. One other thing that we can do is we can jump our Dark Knight around if we desire. Uh, if we desire being the key factor here. I don't know if I'm going to desire it. And we're going to go Technological Terror Ability. That's going to wipe out a couple of these on oh my gods, cleaning them up a little bit for us. We're attacking kind of the wrong balloons here, but that's okay. That's okay. Looks like we take down those guys around 95 is here. Purple Balloon Popping Power is a weakness for me. I do not have the TT ability yet. All right. Luckily, Sada is still doing a pretty good job against these purples. We've got Sada's ability, though. I think I'm going to end up using it. Um, we'll see how it goes. Actually, you know what? Maybe we don't need to use it. I'll use her jump. The jump's working out pretty good. We're taking on the balloons as soon as they come in here, man. There's not like a big pile up or anything. I'm actually feeling pretty comfy. And 95, usually a problem. Will not be a problem today. All right, so I said I was gonna do this. I'm not sure how I feel about this uh, completely all around. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna just save up my money. I'm thinking about getting this technological terror over here. Um, don't forget, it's pretty expensive though. It's, uh, you know, 3,000, 4,500. Okay, 13,000. It's gonna be about $33,000. That's a pretty big chunk of change here, my friends. Another TT ability. Fairly early. Um, possibly too early. Because this is four Oh My Gods near the end. Five Oh My Gods. Six Oh My Gods near the end. Woo! Alright. But it looks like I will have that money for that Technological Terror. I'm a little afraid that I'm going to be popping the mobs a little bit too quickly, though. I'm going to go for this uh, extra ability. Yeah, I'm going to use that. I think we're going to get it back for round 97 to Slow Bloon. Reinforce Bloon. Um, so, yeah let's, let's, yeah. let's plan for this. Let's get a TT going. Uh, I don't know which way is better. Yeah, it looks like his vision is going to be a little better if we put him on the top compared to the bottom. So we're going to do that. We're going to go for a quick Robo Monkey. And I'm going to try to get the Technological Terror more than having a uh, Laser Blast, Blast, and Blast combo. That's what um, I'm going to prefer here. All right, let's look at the pop count. This guy's got 635,000 pops. This guy's got 748,000. For the money spent, this guy is a much, much better choice for us. He has been around a little bit longer, obviously. Uh, but... Uh, this, he can't beat this guy's Moa Poppin' Power either, so it's, it's, it, it, you gotta go for a good mix, you know? And there it is, round 98, boys! Alright, we cannot afford a Tech Terror, so, whew. I don't know, I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to use all of our, I think all of our abilities here, possibly kind of early. We're gonna start off with a sword, a sword, a sword Charge. Just wipe some of these guys out. We're gonna go for the jump. We're gonna watch these balloons carefully. Um, it's hard to see what's going on. It's hard to see what's going on. I can't tell what's going on. We're gonna TT it. Um, okay, I'm gonna win. But here's my problem. Round 99. Can the Dark Champion solo round 99? I like to think so. But I'd really like to have one of these abilities at the very least, just to be safe. So I am going to exit out and try this over just to be on the safe end. I don't want to restart play 40 minutes again. Yeah, it sucks to suck, but I think uh, we're going to do the exact same thing, but going to use all of our abilities a little bit earlier. Um, I'm going to go for a very early Sawed a Sword Charge. I'm going to go for a fairly early Tech Terror. I'm going to see if that's enough. Um, we're going to have to watch this very carefully because if we uh, make one mistake, this could cost us the game. We're going to go for a jump as well. We gotta watch the balloons on the sides, man. Watch intently. I do have some popping power, but not a lot on the sides. Balloons still not leaking through. No balloons leaking. Oh, balloons leaking. Okay. That's kind of sad. Okay, I think what I want to do, this is what I'm planning on doing. I am going to use my sword charge early again, so I'd like to have that for round 99. Uh... 
But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on the tech terror until I absolutely need it. And I think that'll be a little bit later on. So here we go. A somewhat early sword charge. And I'll wait on the tech terror a long time. Let's see how this goes. This guy's still on close first. Okay, a lot of balloons kind of getting piled up here. This is about the time that I used it last time. All right, we got so much crap piled up here. We gotta use it. All right, there we go. We go with the tech terror. We should be able to clean up the rest of these balloons. Will we get this ability back in time, though? Do I just want to take a chance on round 99? I guess I'm taking a chance, boys. I guess I'm taking a chance. I get a tech terror up, but that's not even going to help me. We gotta rely on this guy. Hopefully he's strong enough. I mean, he should be strong enough. I don't see why he wouldn't be. Sort of sort, uh, sort of drop. Uh, and it looks like DDT's getting cleaned up. Yes, they will. We had the sword charge as well if we needed it. And here we go, round 100. The bad does come out on this side. I've got the TT over here if I need it. This guy's not doing that much popping power, but this guy is going to. All right. Uh, we're going to sword charge early. It didn't do much, but it did something. we got to really rely on this guy. He's got to be my main source of popping power. And so far, it's going pretty well. His range is not great. I've got two ter technological terror abilities. We're going to go for the first one. We're going to wait on that second one. We're going to go for another jump for Sada. Let's see if this is going to be important for us. Another sword charge. Somewhat early. I maybe should have waited on that. I'm not entirely sure. Come on. Take it down. Take it down. How many loops have we done? Okay, we take down the DDTs. This TT's done nothing so far. We're going to get knocked back on him, too. We got the money for it. Let's jump. Uh-oh. His ability is range. Not very big. Oh, another TT. And we didn't even need the other technological tear. And we take it down. Chimps plus with only super monkeys and a sauna. We get a nice instant monkey heli pilot. And we move on with... Oh. Almost a million pops for this puppy. Great job, everybody. Great job. Don't forget, if you guys enjoyed, press that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.